today I am back with another video today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I blow dry my hair uh, hair blow dryer first off I haven't blow dry my hair in literally a year I think or it's going to be a year the last time I did it was when I actually did my cut and I came out here and spoke to you guys about me cutting my hair and if you looked at my hair then to now it has grown tremendously and you can even tell from my roots that my hair has grown a lot but I wanted to try this dryer hard because I had it for a very long time and I never tried it out. I was actually gifted this by one of my subscribers and if I remember their name, I'll put it down below. I have a dryer but it's nothing like this. I like these type of dryers but I figured I'd come and show you guys, you know, since I haven't blown out my hair, what it looks like. So I do have a video coming on my hair color as well for stay tuned to that. So I start off by, you basically my hair was freshly washed and everything and then I added my hair moisturizer and I actually picked up my oil thinking I was going to use it but I didn't need to and I explained why um so I started spraying this hair uh heat protectant spray all over my hair I think it's you pronounce it at Lusta. I don't want to say it wrong I am horrible at pronouncing stuff but I'll put the name in here so I got this I think from Coho's yeah so I used that first and then I sprayed all over my hair this speeded up blow dry spray it says for speedy blowouts and heat protection nourishes with argan oil sunflower seed butter for all hip types that's the reason I did not use the oil this does have like an oily type texture so it actually gave me a little bit of sheen and you could feel it on your hair so I actually didn't use too much after I kind of realized that but I actually got this from one of my Ipsy bags when I attended Ipsy so this is uh where I got that from what I use is this row dryer and I like it the only thing I don't like is this area gets really hot really quick and that is a pain because if you're grabbing this it's very uncomfortable so the dryer itself for me it's okay I am not a big fan of heat but I also wanted to use this and I wanted to see if my hair would stretch even though I don't feel like it's stretched a lot I don't know if you guys can tell but from my ends you'll kind of be able to see but yeah, that's basically what I did. And for me to get this nice little slick down area here that I did, I have this thing that I got from like the girl that braids my hair. It's like some braiding conditioning gel. And so far I feel like this works so much better than all those um edge control things. So I just used it on my baby hairs and my hair as well. So yeah, enjoy the rest of this video. Let me know what you guys think. And I hope you guys are enjoying your quarantine time because I sure am. And until the next year, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and start spraying my hair with the Argan Oil with Heat Protectant Spray. And this I got from Coho's, as I mentioned in the intro of my video. And now I'm going to be using the Speed It Up Blow Dry Spray. As I mentioned, this has some form of oil in it, so be gentle when you use it. You guys can tell I was going crazy here, but then I kind of realized it later and controlled how I was spraying it. Now I'm going to go ahead and section my hair into two or three pieces depending on how I was feeling. Clip it out the way, detangle the section with a big comb and then I'm going to start blow drying. When I blow dry my hair, I start from the bottom and I work my way up. I always try to get my roots dry first and then the rest of my hair. Now, this particular product from Revlon only has three settings. It has the off, cool, low, and high. Now, the high is very high because it's not one of those blow dryers where you can control the temperature in terms of how much heat and it does get really hot at one point as you guys will see throughout the video i will not be holding the brush that high because that particular area gets really hot now i felt as though it gave me a really nice blowout but i didn't feel like my hair was stretched all the way my ends are still a bit a little bit more like texture more than it was straight but as you guys can see i'm also using a lot of tension why is blowing my hair out with my hands um forgive my face because like i said this blow dryer does get really hot and i'm sorry about my camera coming in and out because it was trying to auto focus onto my face 
so as you guys can see I was checking my hair at that point to see but I also was using my fingers to check so this was what I was contented with this was what I felt was you know worthwhile for me I didn't want to keep going over my hair constantly as I was to begin with over and over until I get it completely straight I have a dryer that does that but this was okay with me I felt like it you know it gave me you can see the difference of shrinkage on each side so I had finished the rest of my hair and this was the top section and as you guys can tell my hair has a lot of um, uneven cuts and this was the reason why I had gotten my hair cut three times last year and then eventually the last time was to neck length when I came and did an update with you guys and I'm doing the same process I'm actually just spraying the heat protectant spraying the blow dry spray and then detangling my hair and we're going to start this process again starting from the bottom and then I work my way up I always try to focus on that particular area because my ends I always want to get those straight as quickly as possible my hair will dry regardless and once you use tension you kind of pull your hair out the way you want it but as you guys can see from the looks of where my hand is now I was no longer holding the dryer right up to the top because this dryer gets hot I don't know if you guys are seeing in the video but it was a lot of heat coming from this particular uh blow dryer i am not a big fan of direct heat i ginch at every time someone puts heat to my hair or a flat iron so this is not something i do very often i'm not a lover of it but i do like the sleek look i do feel like this particular look i could have achieved by letting my hair be combed out which i have a video show you guys how i achieved that blow dry look and make my hair look like it's blow dried but just actually combing it out and usually when I tie my hair down and brush it a certain way and leave it for a couple of days in the same hairstyle, it performs the same as if I blow dried my hair. So I'm finishing the top section of my hair again, starting from the bottom and working my way up. Now, for a beginner-friendly hair dryer, I would suggest this hair dryer. But for me personally, it was not a big love. Um, I got the concept, but... I felt like there was a lot more kinks that need to be worked out, especially where the dryer got hot. Now for me, I have small hands, so I had to try to grip the dryer where I felt was, you know, somewhere I could control this particular product. And I didn't feel like the way the heat was flowing through the body, like it was plausible. I, I didn't actually show this, but at one point, when I was doing certain sections of my hair, I actually took a towel or a little um, hand rag and I wrapped it around the base because it was getting so hot. I was like, oh no, this is not for me. So I'm just going to finish the top section up. Once I'm done, I tied my hair down and applied some edge control to the front of my hair, which I mentioned in the start of the video. And now I'm just revealing to you guys what my blow dry hair looks like. As you can tell, my hair ends are not straight. At least I don't think they were straight the way I usually would like them but it did a pretty decent job I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial until my next one I will talk to you guys later bye